five junior 12 to 17 race number 13 of the day and we'll highlight those riders here just a moment again race number 13 125 junior 12 to 17 owen Koval as well as austin schaefer the number 11 of kobe lasar chase anderson the number 13 rider out of alaska on the yamaha the number 14 of mitch pierce on the gas gas oh let's see how about arkansas oh, oh, oh. and then there's alabama i think i said alaska mercy it's been a long week already quaint edwards number 15 oh, joseph oh. shipley the number 16 number 18 of davis daniels the number 19 of nico certain Number 20 of Franklin Bowser, 21 of Tri Trinity Bachelor. I almost said it the, the, the way, what a great family, great family out of uh, Mountain Home, Idaho. Talked to Dad the other day. And we, I gotta st we got to start saying his name correctly because now when I see it, I want to say it incorrectly. Trinity Bachelor, we got you, buddy. Uh, the number 22, Giuliano Salinas. The number 23, of Connor Rosick. Number 24, of Riley Buss. Number 27, Oswaldo Nito, McCaden Fitch, as well as Milo Moss, Gregory Jordan, Mason Pappas, as well as Cannon Hargrove, as well as Nicholas Stefancic, Benjamin Moya, the number 39 out of Georgia, Michael Piller on the Yamaha out of Washougal, uh, Jesse Furtado, as well as Heath Fisher, the number 47, rider out of Australia, number 49 of Brendan Harris, the number 50 of Chase Lawton, out of Rhode Island on the Yamaha, the number 54, a Colin Steele out of New Mexico on the KETM. Dustin Davis, the number oh 58, yeah, out of Oak Hills, California on the Gas Gas, the number 60, and Noah Voss out of Georgia on the Gas Gas. Jake Knorr, as well as Nolan Murphy, number 65, out of Arizona on the Husqvarna. A rider Bednar, number 66, and Miguel Angel Rojas on the KTM, the number 67, a rider Rygert, uh, the number 71, a Jace Coy, the number 77, a Sebastian Gonzalez. They call him Seabass. I don't know if they do or not, but we're going with it. Max Bowling, the number 81, Alessandro Carmonti, uh, Oliver Camp, as well as Braden Carpenter, and the number 99 of Aiden Bailey out of Jamestown, Rhode Island. And that is your starting gate for the 125 junior. 12 to 17 BC. 125s singing the song of our people out there. Uh, back down, getting locked and loaded. Bit getting locked and loaded down on the starting gate. Dean was trying to dip, and we said, Dean, hang out with us and call Donald one Trump. One. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. When, when Travis Pastrana comes in, that's not a guy. Uh, not a bad guy to get slighted by. I mean, like it's true. Yeah. Pastrana. If anybody, Dean, you, know. you couldn't get in. Why yeah. not? Well, Travis Pastrana walked in. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's completely fair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Can we tell everybody about it? <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> and Pastrana came in and said, give me a microphone. That's not true at all. He, he came in to hang out and yeah, just put him like on three, the mic. Three microphones went yeah. towards him. <laughs> Please, come in here. And we got to get a mop. Uh, the man sweat. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. What like are the a, size of like these footprints, though? Like a Newfoundland uh, coming in out of a rainstorm. Shook off. And <laughs> my goodness. Crazy. Uh, hydrate, uh, Travis Pastrana. My God. Lord help. Poor guy. Mikey, looks like we got them all lined up and ready to go here in the 125 Junior 12 to 17 BC class. Yeah, race 13, 125 Junior. Locked and loaded. Pit boards swinging down there, trying to keep these guys cooled off. And here we go. Elbows up, eyes fixed and focused. And I'll tell you, you got to be patient there on the starting line because they hold this card sideways for quite a while here. You got to be prepared. And here they go now off the starting gate. Heath Harrison making them keep their head on a swivel this year here. There you go. Off and rolling. Boy, great start. Heath Fisher must be in the name Heath. Canna Hargrove, the number 37 in that number two spot. Austin Schaefer in third place early. And is it still the 37? Cannon Hargrove on the outside line, side by side out in front. Yeah, he's got a good line right here in the commandments. Let's see what happens. Both riders going with the same single double double all through this section here. The Ten Commandments. Here they go, side by side. Huge triple Ooh. out there. Advantage Heath Fisher. So Heath Fisher now back out in front of Cannon Hargrove. He's the number 47 Husqvarna rider, and it is tight beyond that. Through the riders and the Yahtzee Shaker shook it up. Here we go. 
you know, we used to call this story lanes, couldn't really see anything back there, but Racer TV doing a great job. Again, this is the footage here out on the racetrack. There we see Heath Fisher and a tear off pole for Cannon Hargrove, so he's going to reset. We got a Yamaha right going to the outside right there. Now we're even. Megawatt just dumped some popcorn. Now we're even. I spilled water, you spilled popcorn. Now we're even, buddy. Hargrove and Fisher, that is Fisher out in front trying to put a little bit of a gap. Boy, great battle there. That might be Schaefer and Knorr. We'll know for sure they're going to be checking in with a lap completed here in just a moment. And Fisher's doing the best he can here to stretch out Hargrove, but Hargrove says, no way, not happening. I'm going to ride your tail this whole moto, and here they go around the beach. A couple different lines here shaping. I've got a good inside line there, the middle line, the outside line. As you see our leaders race around the outside. Oh, mistake there for Fisher. And to the inside, it's Canna Hargrove side by side of the finish line. Looks like Fisher's going to hold on to it, Mikey. Yeah, so Fisher hanging on for that early lead. Hargrove right there, though. Love it. Back and forth. Let's go. 125 Junior, 12 to 17 BC, putting on a show. Little dab right there by Hargrove, or excuse me, by Fisher. Uh, McCaden Fitch in the number three spot. Colby Lassar making a pass up into fourth. Austin Schaefer now back in the number five position after a decent start early. And we wait on scoring to catch up. There it is. Outside of that, Mitch Pearson sixth. Seventh place is going to be Chase Lawton. Michael Piller eighth. Ninth place is going to be Alessandro Carminati. And Jace Joy going to round out that top ten as the number 37 of Cannon Hargrove out in front. They better watch out for Colby Lester. Young Colby Lester making some moves out there on the racetrack. Yeah, he's definitely got the high tag right now. He's making a push to the front of the pack. And we're watching now. Hargroves has made the move. So Hargroves, oh, I say that, and look what happened. He made a mistake there on the inside. He's going to pass right back. We'll back and forth early in this with one lap completed. Oh, that was actually the battle with Lesser and Fisher. That's for oh, second yeah. and third as Hargroves is starting to pull away. Hargrove trying to put a little gap out there. Through the sand wash, so it looks like Lesser going to have a move right there wow. on his Yamaha. And got the inside set up on Fisher. What can Fisher do to counteract? Buff and rowdy through that section right there. There is Hargrove. Oh, a little dab. Small mistake right there by Hargrove. Regroups quick. There's a big jump right there. That was beautiful. Right into the beach. <laughs> you know, you go to the beach, you get those guys, you know, they hang back. He's right up front there as he launches into the beach. Pick up now as they make their way through the finish line. This whole battle's getting tight right here. About yeah. five guys deep. Yeah, Fitch really pushing the issue. As Cannon Hargrove, as we saw, made the pass, he is in the number one spot as McCaden Fitch yeah, in that number two spot now. McCaden Fitch doing some great work there through the sand wash. We've seen it. And through the mechanics area, we're going to watch Cannon Hargos. And I think he's going to get pressure here from McCaden Fitch. I think so. He's, he turned up. Fitch turned a 159.6. So he's got that sub two minute lap time. And when he checked in, 0.8 seconds. But forget it. Throw it out the window. He's right there. He's within sights. He's in sights. I love this view right here. We're going to see a little bit of an option change here as we've seen the second place rider Fitch. He's going to go to the outside and double in. But it looks to me like Hargrove's made it through there a little bit quicker with the inside. Yeah, Fisher looking good back there as well. Lassar fourth, fifth. Uh, let me show some love to these guys outside of that top ten now that they've checked in with two completed. 11th place, Gregory Jordan, Riley Buss in 12th. Brennan Harrison in 13th place. Jace Coy, 14th. Fifth place, 15th place, Mason Pappas, Owen Coble in the number 16th spot. Dustin Davis in 17th. Giuliano Salinas, 18th. And 19th place is going to be Benjamin Mora. And rounding out your top 20 is going to be Jesse Furtado. And that is your Cometic Gaskets top 20 rundown. And Mikey, thank you for that top 20 rundown. There's a lot of heavy hitters there that are bar buried in the pack. Of course, Gregory Jordan, Riley Bussey, Brennan Harrison, Owen Coble. These guys can win this thing, and they're yeah, they're inside the top 20. Hey, welcome to Loretta's, right? Absolutely. Everybody envisioning themselves grabbing that number one plate, or at least a large majority of it. Better. Fitch must have had some issues. Sorry to pick that up. Colby Lester looks yep. like he's made a move now on Fitch. He's almost side by side right now through the sand. Yeah, Lester letting it all hang out right now. 
getting into the groove, feeling it on lap number three. Coming in through the finish line we go. Hargrove still out in front, a two minute flat for him. Fisher and Lesser, two and three. That's the battle we're watching. Fish back in the number four spot right now. There's Schaefer checking in in fifth place. And look at there on the map, like you said, he's back to pitch in fifth is Austin Schaefer. Trini Bounce will make us move. Alessandro Carmanotti, he's also gonna move up. And Brennan Harrison, that rider that I named outside the top 10, he has now made his way inside the top 10 in the eighth place position. Ninth spot is Mitch Pierce. And rounding your top 10 is Owen Coble. So a great race here, 125 junior, 12 to 17. Coming up next, gonna be that 250 B class. And then that'll be followed by your junior 25 plus. Couple heavy hitter uh, races right there. And then we'll get into uh, 250C, race number 15. Hydrate, see, that's what it's all about. Hydrating the little one over there. So got uh, Lindsey Sheltima up here. You got the young whippersnapper with you, Hydrate. And how are things going for you here today? Really good. The week has been going strong. We have over 70 coaches here this week. And it just seems like every year the number grows. And the, the more recognition and the more legitimacy that we're bringing to the industry every year, it just grows and grows. And, you know, it's been really exciting to watch all the coaches out here supporting yeah. their riders. And it seems like everything's been going really well this week for everybody. Well, Lindsay, we, we had a chance to talk with you a little bit yesterday uh, during practice, you know, before we're on the broadcast. And you made a very good point about the coaching aspect in other sports, whether it be uh, uh, stick and ball sports, motor sports they have that kind of arrangement. We were kind of lacking that. This is where you guys come in. We, you're correct. We were very behind in that process. So every other sport in the United States has a coaching association and we were really late to the game, but we've been around since 2016 and we've been working to set a standard to motorcycle coaching ever since. And you know, we're not gonna stop till it, it works for every, every track in America. We wanna make sure that every track uses only USMCA coaches and we have that policy set in place for everybody. Cause it, it, in the end of the day, it'll help grow the sport by helping make sure that parents feel at ease, the riders feel at ease, and we're and everybody's getting good quality coaching. I, I love that because you, you look at our sport over the years like we're, we're like outlaws, right? We're, we're like the degenerates <laughs> uh, of society, basically. But uh, it, it has really gotten structured really over the last couple of decades as well. Uh, and you guys are helping push that forward, too. And it's, it's good for everybody. Um, I think back to like 2020, we talk about how uh, we didn't know what was going to happen with the industry, right? And then uh, suddenly people rediscovered motorcycling or they got their kids into motorcycling. So we need something like you guys are providing. This is exactly what we want to offer. We want to we want to make that safe place for people to get into and grow. And this is how we do it. We do it through getting involved and getting connected with a coach at the bottom level because the barrier to entry is so intense with our industry. So it helps if you just get connected with a coach first, and that coach can help walk you through. Our coaches are mentors to help people grow in the sport and get the help they need and get the gear they need and the bikes they need and the help that goes with all that. So many different aspects, uh, a lot of moving parts for it. Um, you guys are out here at Loretta's this weekend. Uh, tell us where, where can folks find you, where can they find information, etc. Absolutely. So if you want to get connected with a coach in your area, go to MotorcycleCoaching.org. If you want to come and visit us, we have our, our uh, USMCA tower right behind the mechanics area in the first turn. Uh, Mark and myself are here all week, and awesome. we're here to answer questions. We're here to get connected and, and help make that next step in your coaching journey. Awesome. Lindsay, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, welcome anytime. Bring the youngsters. Thank you. Yeah, we've got plenty of snacks. Young I Rippers. Promise. That's it. Yeah, Little Thanks. Rippers. We'll take it. All right, got a great one going on here in our 120, <laughs> 125 Junior, 12 to 17 BC. Cannon Hargrove leading the way in the number two spot. Colby Lassar, Keith Fisher in third place, Austin Schaefer fourth, and Brennan Harrison rounding out your top five. Outside of that, Trinity Bachelor in the number six position with Owen Coble in seventh place. Eighth place is Alessandro 
Carminati, ninth place. Going to be Chase Anderson, Jesse Furtado. Going to round out your top 10 here in the 125, 12 to 17. B, C, as we are getting down to the nitty gritty now. We're here about just under nine minutes left in this one. As we welcome back into the booth, he's fresh off of his union break, Zach Heron. Check, check, check. How are you? Ooh, I tell you what, I'm a lot better than I was about an hour ago or so, sweating bullets down there on the podium. Uh, but that gives you maybe, what, 1% of what these guys are going through right yeah. now out on track? Uh, them and Travis Pastrana that was just up here that left a pool of sweat. Oh, Pastrana's here. Oh, my goodness. Of course. When I'm not here, great. Yeah. Never fails. It looked like he'd been swimming in a pool and jumped out. Yeah, he was uh, helping out Randy Richardson. Yeah, you know, uh, it, was, it was good. It was very solid. Got to love it. TP, the absolute man, it's my hero right there. So who knows? I mean, he's going to be upside down at some point this week <laughs> if you stay in here. I'll put it like that. There's a lot of lifts out there to flip off of. Absolutely. Uh, so Zach, as we welcome you back here, man, uh, 125 junior, 12 to 17 BC. Tanner Hargrove been in pretty good control of this one. He's had some great battles with Lesser, uh, Lesser and Heath Fisher. Right now, six lap in, six laps in as Heath Fisher checks in in that number three spot. Yeah, it's been impressive to watch. And I tell you what I've noticed over there in the Monster Energy Cool Off section there, the, the impound area post race, Mikey, is these guys are spent. They have left absolutely everything on the track. We're accustomed to seeing that, you know, by the time the third moto is the real championship fight go, you leave it all out on the track. But right now, even some of our winners, they're coming. They can barely stand up as they get off of the motorcycle. They're begging for water, uh, out of breath, crying. And so uh, now, granted, 125 Junior Club 15, probably not going to be crying afterwards. But it just goes to show that right off the bat, it's absolutely brutal conditions. And these guys are putting it all out from the first gate drop. Yeah, I, I was going to ask you that. How, how are things looking down there? Um, and I'm sure you've seen uh, every every side of the emotion as well as like some guys really really stoked on their finish and other guys very upset about their finish. Absolutely. Well, and, and that's the beauty of the impound area, right? You've got first all the way back to 10th place, and uh, as somebody that was just stoked to be under the impound, you, you see that, right? You yeah. see dads hugging kids, happy tears, but then you also see that kid in ninth place that was saying, I cannot take anything less than the third place. Right. You see those those upset, the, the failure as much as the successes. So uh, it's really the, the tale of both sides of Loretta Lynn's out there. We say the ride that dreams are made of. Well, nightmares are dreams too, right? And so <laughs> some of those guys having a nightmare first moto, but if you find yourself under that impound, you have two more opportunities to put in good results. You could end up inside that top five. So definitely had some guys that thought they were going to be in a title fight that have got a lot of work cut out for them. But then you have riders uh, like Drew Adams, right, coming from dead last all the way back to that fourth place spot. And while we didn't get to chat with him on the podium, he had that fight in his eye. He was ready to go a whole nother 20 plus two if needed. Guarantee it. That's one of those where you think to yourself, what could I what could I have done with one more lap? Yep. Uh, yeah. Right there. Well, and I heard you guys say too, if he wins this championship, it's because of that moto yeah, right Kevin, there. Kevin Kelly made that comment absolutely correct. Um, just a good example to any, whatever class you're out or you're in out there, um, you don't give up. Uh, I know we don't all have the talent that Drew Adam has. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's definitely, uh, well, and it's hard. It's more than talent, too, right? We know yeah. that as well. It's a lot of hard work. Obviously, he's got a great group of people around him, not only just his family, but his actual racing family and team as well. So yeah. uh, similar to what we're seeing out of Cannon Hargrove right now. It seems like he's yeah. got all the pieces put together, consistently running around that 202 lap time, and uh, right now looking solid out front. Yeah, he's been under fire quite a few times. Man, Colby's been able to reel him in, but he just kind of checks up, unable to make the pass on him. And so there's nothing more frustrating than that, too, where yeah. every time you start to catch him somehow or another, either you make a mistake or he finds a hot line and pulls back away. So right now, the number 11, Colby Lassar, really in a tough spot, but he's still within striking distance, and he's putting the pressure on Hartgrove. Well, you can see it in Colby as well. Oh, might, might have just missed a mistake right there by Colby just off screen. Maybe not. Uh, but... The front number plate just coated uh, in dirt and mud right there. That tells you how close he's been to Hargrove and just how many battles he's been in. Meanwhile, Hargrove, hey, bite is clean. Yep. He has been able to get out front and kind of control the tempo. And I tell you what, Mike, just looking out of this tower right now, you're starting to see the sun is beating down. It's a nice, cool 104, it feels like, outside. Yeah. So uh, the, dr the track is drying out as well. So obviously you've got that moisture, that loamy type uh, soil on top. Obviously the, the monster energy, sand wash, super sandy conditions. But they're now starting to get down to a little bit of a harder base as well. So you're seeing some riders making simple mistakes. And uh, these ruts are really giving riders some, some fits too, especially in those 10 commandments. There is Lassar right there on Racer TV, watching him in that number two spot. 
Trying to keep pace with Shannon Hargrove. Brand Brendan Harrison still third. He's Watch this, Mikey. Forward. He's trying to run that inside. That Thor Sand Sweeper. Look at that. Back down. Bermuda like Triangle. Coming into the finish. Hey, this is going to be good. Colby saving some for the end of this one. Looks like the two lap card is out now. So your leader is officially bringing out the card. And uh, looks like that means it's go time is the number 11. Look at that. He shows a wheel up alongside your leader. They're getting ready. I, I would, I'd love to see what the pit boards are saying right now for both of them, <laughs> right? Remember to breath. <laughs> Remember to breath. Yes. Go. I love the, the go faster. As if I wasn't aware of that, Dad. Thank you. Well, he knew you could go faster. Your money. Yeah, absolutely. Dad knew. Dad knew. Lester going to work right up the gut there. And I tell you what, I, sorry to cut you off there, Mikey. I just noticed Brendan Harrison has cut that gap between yep. second and third in half. It was about 4.3 seconds, now 2.4. So be on the lookout for that gas gas rider as well. To try to shake things up here in the final two laps. There he is right there. There he is. One, two, and three. Throw a blanket over him. Not just any blanket, but a baby blanket. A newborn baby. They're swaddled right now. It's a two foot by two foot. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big baby 13 pounds 5 ounces that's a big baby Hargrove Lesser Harrison putting on a show in the 125 junior class they are 1, 2, and 3 as it stands right now 2 lap card out for the moment but about to take the white flag here shortly for the 37, 11, and 49 all in one camera shot. Love it. That's what we're Look at this. Reddit for. Trying to take the long way around. Harrison trying to make the move. Look at that. He launches it. Is it going to pay off for him? He pulls up alongside Lassar. Leaves the throttle on that gas. Because could he get a BOGO? Looking at a two for one there as they come by the tower. And we got a new leader. Brennan Harrison is taking over the lead. That is as good as it gets. They were three wide into that turn. And like you said, a two for one. How about it for Brennan Harrison? We say it all the time, uh, Megawatt's got a great. You can get a good start all day long. I want to see a good finish. He made the passes when it counts. Now he's leading the way around the white flag. Perfect timing right now for the 49. The white flag out in this one, one to go. New leader, leader, leader. That is the 49 gas gas of Brennan Harrison. And I tell you who's probably shaking their head right now is Cannon Hargrove. Absolutely. He went from first to third in that corner, getting passed by Colby and Brendan at the same time. So he's got to try to regroup, but he better do it quick because he's running out of time to get up uh, in the middle of that podium, try to snag a silver medal, if not fight for the gold. Brendan Harrison putting that uh, FXR Dunlop tires back gas gas ride to work here late in this one, grabbing that lead. And uh, boy, let's see what he can do with that clean air. Man, he turned. Oh, watch out now. Could he throw it away? What a save. Great save. Great wow. save. Well, for the moment, there is Lesser on the outside. Now we'll challenge him. Look at that. Shut the door. Good defensive riding there from Harrison. Let's see if he's able to make it stick. Kind of faded out wide and took the line away from Lesser there on the number 11. Uh, Mikey, I didn't plan on saying slideways, but he was slideways he coming was. off the face of that jump right there. Lesser rider on that. That's, that's the second line. commandment. Thou shalt not cross <laughs> run. That's, that's the one. So now making their way through Storyland. Harrison actually able to respond pretty well. I guarantee you that spiked the heart rate. He's able to pull about two to three bike lanes over. Look at that, both feet off the pegs. These guys are wide open here on this final lap. Absolutely, both guys want it right now. There is no question they are leaving it all out on the track. Sensational ride by Brennan Harrison and Colby Lesser. Lesser in the two spot. I got to give Lesser some credit. I think he's got a little more speed. Seems like he's got yeah. a little more pace, but Harrison doing a great job of putting that gas gas everywhere that Lassar tries to go. They're getting ready to buzz the tower for the final time. Let's see how it shakes out here in the Thor Sand Sweeper. Harrison going to hug that inside, try to take the short way around. First place on the line in their first moto for the 125. Junior coming together. Side by side. How's it going to play out? Looks like Harrison got the power to the ground and... Brennan Harrison just barely by about half a bike lane going to grab the win over Colby Lesser. Cannon Hargrove going to round out the podium here for 125 Junior, 12 to 17. What a race. We're all here cheering in the tower right now. You know you're doing something right. That, that was Look at this. More shakeups at the backside of the podium. Trinity Bachelor jumping up on that final lap and stealing away third place. A tough, tough last lap for Hargrove. An obvious mistake out there for him. Ends up checking in in the number seven spot trinity bachelor 
going to take third place. Oh, is that Karen? If they could all be like Ooh. that, my goodness. We I would have it. the 180 heart rates up here in the tower. Loved it. <laughs> I'm out of breath right now. I didn't train for this properly. <laughs> So your top 10, Brennan Harrison and Colby Less are putting on an absolute show. Trinity Bachelor making it happen on the last lap. We'll take that final podium position. Owen Koval fourth, Heath Fisher fifth place, Austin Schaefer sixth, Ken Hargrove a tough break for that young man. We'll take a seventh place, Alessandro Carminati eighth, McCaden Fitch ninth, and Jesse Furtado will round out your top 10 and the 125 junior 12 to 17 race number 13 coming up next is 250 B we'll take a short little baby break and we'll be right back down on the podium that's right that's right okay uh, we'll take a short little break at Jackson Burrow be down on the podium with our top three here in just a moment and uh, you guys are going to get to hear from our good buddy Kevin Kelly after that one All right, everybody, it looks like we are ready to go down here on the podium. Got to start things off with our gold medalist here in moto number one, the 125cc junior BC class, Brennan Harrison, man. Congratulations. Woo! All right, Brennan, take us through your race here, man. Yeah, super fun. Got up to a really rough start, but was able to catch all the way up and get it done. Man, how does it feel to win a moto here at Loretta Lens? Feels really awesome. Couldn't be better, actually. How you feel going into moto number two? Really good. Just need to go back and hydrate and get ready. All right, man. Well, who would you like to thank for getting you up here to the top step? Jesus gave me a say, Club MX, or Club 57, um, OGO, FXR, uh, Gas Gas, and anyone else. Thank you. All right, everybody. Your gold medalist here in moto number one, Brennan Harrison. And up next, we're going to get our silver medalist, Colby Lesser. And here we go. Here we go. Making his way up. All right, everybody, once again, your silver medalist here in moto number one, Colby Lesser. Colby, take us through your race. Oh, it was good. I got a uh, good start and then started off a little slow. Just was like had a calm, comfortable pace. And uh, then I kind of put it down when I saw everybody was catching us. And yeah, it was a good ride. Uh, good job to Brandon. He was ripping and track was gnarly. I really enjoyed it and I love it here. 
Feeling confident going into your second motos after a second place? Yeah, I'm just going to recover and get cooled down, and then, yeah, I'm excited for the last five. All right, congratulations. Who would you like to thank? Oh, I want to thank uh, Altus Motorsports, Jordan, Ed, the whole team. They're so awesome. Uh, Monster Army, Thor, Evan, everybody over there. The gear is looking so good this year. Uh, Yamaha, Blue Crew, um, Altus, 100%, EVS, um, Rims Plus, uh, Guts, uh, um, HB, and everybody else. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, put your hands together for Colby Lesser, your silver medalist here in moto number one. And up next, going to be your third place here in moto number one, Trinity Bachelor. Man, going up and getting it there on those last few laps. Take us through your race. Yeah, I got out to a not so great star and uh, was able just to like slowly climb my way through the pack. And uh, yeah, it was good. I mean, not really much you can ask for. Man, throw that medal on real quick. And who would you like to thank for getting you up here on the podium? My mom, my dad, Hunter Racing, Canada, Fly, um, uh, uh, Moto Sandbox. Oh, uh, man. FMF, yeah, Sport Support, Alpha Dynamics, uh, Factory Connection, if I haven't said that. Um, everybody else, thank you. All right, everybody, let's hear it for your third place, Trinity Bachelor. And we have one more thing left to do down here on the podium, and that is to give out a Stasic Hole Shot Award, Mr. Heath Fisher. If you could make your way up here to the podium. And here you go, Heath, man. Take us through that start. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, I don't know. just ripped a good start, I guess. Thanks, uh, Lynx Racing, Tamer Hole Shot, uh, Get, and um, Dog Pound. Yeah, yeah, thank you. All right, everybody, that's Heath Fisher, your hole shot artist here in moto number one. Back to you guys.